that. <laughs> That's why your mom and dad. Ohio's literally a rural bar fight of a state. Totally accurate drip battle drown. Why are you laying down in front of our car? <laughs> Whoa, yes, God. You just see a set of forearms and an AK-47 going through the grass. Is this what Nam was like? Run, look at this. The Ho Chi Minh Trail color eyes. I invented drip. Degenerates like you belong on a cross. Tell your mom and dad. Welcome back to Tab G, and now that we're done honoring the incredible heroes of World War II in the last video. Mother fucking goddamn piece of shit. <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck! Cheers, bro. I'll drink to that. It's time for some real combat, because if you thought Omaha Beach was bad, you've clearly never seen the horrors of the Unity game engine. They're beyond the comprehension of mortal man. Silent Lynch! Oh, yes! I got his ass. I don't wish to be horny. I do not wish to be horny anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I only wish to be happy. And to confess, once and for all, I don't actually hate Tab Cheese. I secretly love it for an endless number of reasons. I got a bet. <laughs> now where is the cheese? Because if someone tries something once and calls it trash, I'd believe them. If they try it twice and call it trash, I'd be skeptical. But if someone has deep throated a hot dog three times, called them trash, yet is begging for a fourth, you know they're a lying piece of shit. So now that this is video number three, I admit Tab G is fantastic. On God, on Jaw, on Big Smoke. Smoke, tab G is worth the five dollar price tag. Well, is he's it? in the smoke now. That's a big smoke. Hey, oh, yeah, isn't he dressed as Big Smoke from San Andreas? Is, is that he? why he's saying that's a big smoke? I feel like you you might want to get murdered for oh, that. Oh God, he is. <laughs> <laughs> And this one's gonna be special. Not just because we played with the best player in the world, apparently even better than Poppy. This pink guy right here is the best player in the game, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah, this is Jurassic 420. He's finished. Yeah, he's actually finished, like, unironically. You're unironically <laughs> finished, bro. Yeah. That's hilarious. Just, like, the best player in this game. 3,000 hours. This is what you're looking at. Dropped out of high school because of Tab G. That's true. <laughs> I wish he were, he were lying about that, but that's actually true. <laughs> now I go to evangelical <laughs> boards. But because of an extra special sponsor, Dollar Shave Club. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey. I know you guys love to poke fun at the hair situation above my rapidly expanding forehead, saying that I'm slowly turning into Vegeta. Maybe you can go. <laughs> But the hair situation below my forehead is perfectly in hand thanks to Dollar Shave Club. Their executive handle razor and six high quality blades on top of transparent shave butter make my face smooth as butter every morning and even some more delicate areas when the need arises. Look at those balls in the way. There's no shame in talking about it because they've got you covered from head to toe, whether that's shower care, oral care, deodorant, or literal ball spray and butt wipes when you've been gaming for five straight hours and your shorts smell flammable like mine. Go to dollarshaveclub.com slash badger to get the ultimate shave starter set of an executive handle and blades, prep scrubs, shave butter, and shave dew for only five bucks and round out your grooming routine by adding any of their other high quality products. After that, the restock box ships with full size products at a regular price. The only thing better than the products is the time they save you because going to the store is pain, waiting in line is pain, and buying cheap quality is pain. <laughs> <laughs> so shave time and shave money at dollarshaveclub.com slash badger and thanks again for sponsoring this video. And you know what? Ball spray is the least weird part of this video. So if you have any brain cells, you don't feel like losing, I'd crank some 90s the hell out of here right now. this. <laughs> what the? How does he stick to walls like that? What the I'm Am I looking at? <laughs> he put up a fourth one. What is he saying? <laughs> you just keep going? Literally I just, just want to know. I just want to <laughs> oh He's doing oh 90. I just want to know how that man did not jump once. That man slithered up that wall. The Drip Squad you're accustomed to showed up. Poppy, Bear, Jurassic that you just met, and even a voice actor from the game, Saul Teague. I never thought I'd talk to an actual Tab G character, but Unity is stranger than fiction. Hello. Sorry, Saul Teague. I don't know why I'm saying Saltine. Oh, I'm calling now. you a damn cracker. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Saul Teague, can you say... Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm playing with a Tab G asset right now. This is so fucking confusing. Chad, just the way that Poppy's face looks looking at me out of the corner of my eye is so right, fucking hilarious yet ominous at the same time. <laughs> 
<laughs> they were indispensable in facilitating our drip or drown contest, which I can only describe as the most frightening social experience known to man. All right, my turn. Let's see if I'm <laughs> drowning or I'm drowning. All right, be honest, boys. Drip or drown. This is the most intimidating <laughs> circle I have ever been in. <laughs> we got oh, oh, shit. We got brown. I'm getting okay, a lot of drown. <laughs> Fire. <laughs> okay, just do it. Just get it. <laughs> 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 drip. Oh, somebody blew yeah. me out of there. The intricacies and nuances of drip or drown in Tab G are so complex, not even PhDs can figure them out. Just think of it tenant style with everything being inverted. Like wearing a chicken suit in real life, drip. Wearing a chicken suit in Tab G, drown. Take that chicken little motherfucker out. I knew he should have killed this fucking chicken years ago. Where is he? He's in the we got fucking him. ground. Got him. I just hear Buzzy get that chicken little motherfucker. <laughs> I see Jacket's head pop up. <laughs> no drip. Dry as fuck. Run away, you no drip having ass. <laughs> and I love you guys because for some reason, when large swaths of you idiots gather together, it becomes the most hilarious place on planet Earth, and I can feel myself getting richer and richer every time I hit my shadow play button. Even when some of you are halfway across the world in Europe and don't speak English. I don't speak German, Nate. I'm here for money. Money. But even with enough cash to buy the greatest graphics card on the market, booting up Tab G strapped with an RTX 3090, it was still no match for the sheer number of them. I'm so glad that I got my hands on an RTX 3090 so I could play fucking Tab G more. <laughs> yeah, really? I can't. I can't. Oh, I'm already I'm being punched by pickles. So many people. Okay, if you can lag my fucking RTX 3090 down to 45 frames, you know there's a problem. It's so good when you murder somebody and then your frames become buttery smooth immediately afterwards. I love murdering pickles. Fuck you. <laughs> all right, I got Asher zombie. And of all the places to have dozens of you follow me on this dumbass map, like Castle, Crappy Castle, Snow Castle, Actual Castle, I couldn't find one dumber than fucking Circle Town, which is basically a two scale recreation of Ohio with complete horseshit loot. What's the best drop? There's a lot of answers to that question. Industry is usually the best drop in the Industry. game. Industry. If you say Circle Town, I'm gonna fucking murder you. <laughs> no, no, never go there. Just look at it. It looks like such a piece of shit. We're actually going Circle Town, aren't we? Yes. And hell yeah. The There's problem. so many people. Oh, my fucking frames. Give me your grenade, you dick. God, he's out of here. Oh my I, god. I this is way too many fucking players. It was so bad. It looked like a pre-game lobby, but it was a live game, and loot didn't even fucking matter because even if I found a powerful weapon, the sheer number of you moron. Gaggle punching me simultaneously meant death was unavoidable. Circle Town, volume two. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, okay, well, okay, that's diversion. Okay, wait. Circle Town. All right, everybody, drop Circle Town. Again. Right, everybody drop circle town again. <laughs> I'm sure this is all already looted. What am I even doing? I'm so fucking dead. I'm dead. I'm getting fucking trampled. I just got, like, gaggle punched by eight different people. Let's go start killing people at, at random. I don't even care anymore. Any yeah. Ohio resident like, leaving their home. Things really started to crack once Bear showed us what he can do with a car and a Jarl axe, which I still don't understand. It's kind of like breaking the laws of physics, but it's Unity physics, which probably means we should be put in Unity jail. However. However. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. Shock wave? What's the shock wave? I don't understand the physics behind this. Oh, what? Here, let me heal you a little bit. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he did the shockwave while in the car and it just went through my face. Yeah, we rough samples. I don't know how. Oh my god! What is this? <laughs> Alright, so he's getting a lot of speed and then he finds a, he finds a lip, I think, and then he just... <laughs> Saltig had his own pointers about the gulag, which I finally passed the third and final level of, but apparently that's a bad technique. What's your average gulag? I just do level two and then I kill myself to get back faster. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need your stupid blessing. Oh, uh, uh, I'm so it's fucking close. It. No, I made level three. That's nuts. And after we turned Martin, aka Mozzie's voice actor, into a pickle. Oh, pickle Rick. Yeah, pickle. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> fuck, fuck yeah, pickle Rick. Yeah. Yeah. People talk about him all the time. They can't shut up about it. Yo, him. they turned Mozzie into a pickle. I saw it. <laughs> right? 
funniest shit I've ever seen. We decided to run a racket by sticking a healing barrel on a stolen Luger, which heals people when you shoot them. It's a healing barrel, that's why. Full health, look at that. Then going up to random players, shooting them with a browning automatic rifle, and forcing them to pay us in guns and ammunition to heal the wound. And if they refuse to pay, we shoot them in the face with a musket. I'm pretty sure this is exactly how the US healthcare system works. <laughs> <laughs> Can't pay? <laughs> Speaking of muskets, I'm convinced that the older the weapon is, the better it is in this game. Like using an M16 or a Chris Vector? Shitty round. Using a fucking flintlock or a Model 1887? Monster round. Is this what a nuclear weapon feels like? Oh, what the? <laughs> quick facts. Quick facts and quick facts. I just go. <laughs> I hit that man with the force of a thousand suns. Give this pickle what he wants. What the fuck is war crime style? Well, I assume it's not like animal style if you're looking for french fries. <laughs> Got one. Get back here, I wanna hit you with the musket. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, he hit his neck on the way down. Oh, I got him. Wow. That's the oh wow guy. Oh, there just comes a point where at 26 frames, Holy chat, fuck. you can't expect me to hit shit. So, Hello. Big beam. Oh, just rocked his shit. I don't want to loot that because there's so many fucking people here now. And that catchphrase you just heard is not only the best one that I've heard recently, oh, wow. but a perfect description for me laughing this hard at a literal sandwich joke. Someone just lock me up and throw away the key already. I'm definitely going to Unity Hell for this. Bag. Oh, wow. LGBTQ oh is that a sandwich? <laughs> Did chat see who I was just killed by? Not sure I want to... <laughs> I'm actually gonna fucking die, dude. I'm just so damn unexpected. That actually fucking hurts. That hurts.